C.K. Danger Song. Underground Craps. Okay, guys, welcome back. We're just going to put down 15 real quick. New throw we're doing here. I'm going to get this guy 8 to... Uh, that's 5, 3, 8. 8 to 2 to 8 inches out from the wall. That's what you want. 2 to 8 inches out from the wall. More 15, no more, no less on this game. No more, no less. Just is what it is. You know, we'll have to put it out there and we'll have to stick with it, you know? You're just going to have to you know, bang these guys out here. This throw is going to remind you of the stack grip. So if you're out there that use a stack grip, I know that those of you that use a stack grip love the stack grip because you understand that that grip is a prime grip. And I just want to tell you, gang, that is going to be the new way to throw the dice. That that you know, uh, I'm just calling it right now. Yeah, that's going to be the new way to throw the dice. In my opinion, six four two. And that's just my opinion. And of course, we're going to, you know, probably get some hate now. We don't care. You know, because the bottom line is, I, you know, I study this stuff, man. And, you know, I said 614. Had a little flipper over there, down there. Um, you know, I've thrown on hard tables, thrown on ton on bouncy tables, you know. And they, they had the, pre Dominator had the Premier Grip, Captain M had the, the Premier Grip. You know, where you throw the dice and, you know, you got to get down there. I don't know, pass line. Six, four, ten. Super Cadillac Buckshot. Super Cadillac Buckshot. Back to back. Super Cadillac Buckshot. Back to back. All right, guys. Yeah, but see, this is, you know... You know, when they were throwing that grip, you know, that grip was designed for a hard table, you know, that grip and throw. You know, because you get the pendulum swing and throw it, it's designed to get the dice, you know, spinning. You know, get ro get so many, you know, three to five rotations, whatever, or two to four, whatever it might be. And, you know, land the dice, you know, boom, you know, land them flat, land them flat, then they'll go in, you know, hit the table, come back, rest real nice. You know, you can see videos where, you know, they got the perfect throw and it does that, whatever, whatever. But here's the deal. You know, they now have bouncy tables, so, you know, if you're throwing that shot, you're new and you're trying to throw that shot, you're wondering why your t uh, dice are flying off the table. Well, it's because your dice, the energy isn't transferring into the table any longer. It's actually going into the table and coming out back out of the table because it's a bouncy, the padding, you know, the, uh, the fabrics, you know, they're using. You know, they, you know, used to, like I said, we're going with a hard, hard table so that you could rely on the energy once the dice hit. The energy from the rotation and the air and velocity and all that, most of it would go into the, the table, you know, and then a lot, it would suck up, you know, 80% of the, the juice from the dice, then they could go into the wall, come back, and that'd be there 20% or 10%, and it's done. You know, not now, though. If you throw that throw, they're going to fly all around the table and fly off the table. So, you know, that's why I said this, these twisted throws I've been showing you, gang, you know, I've been trying not to say it, but this is going to be, you know, once people understand what's really going on, how to beat this game, they're going to really be on these throws right here. So you're going to see these throws a lot more. Uh, coming in the casinos, I'm gonna start to see them popping up. You know, because this will be the way to make money. You know, be really consistent. <clears throat> got four. So I'm just putting that out there for the inter what internet uh, gang. So you know, you heard it here first. We'll see how it plays out. Yo. That's all we can do. We'll see how it plays out. Kind of like Syria. See how that crazy shit plays out. Said we're going 15 on this, no more, no less. Just roll right along. Getting it uh, eight to or two to eight inches uh, out from the wall. Six fold ten. Six fold ten. It's important to make sure you get that right range in there. Ten. Oh. 
hope. Ten hope. So if you haven't tried any of these uh, weird little throws like this, it's you know, worth your time. Five, three, eight. It'd be worth your time to you know look into them. Just give them a try and uh, you know see what I'm talking about. See what some of us are talking about. You know with this throw. You know we're already on board with it. You know we already know those of us that roll the stack grip. We understand the importance of the stack grip and what the stack grip. The real power of the stack grip is shutting down. These bouncy tables. Five, three, eight. Okay, I didn't like that little hang up in there and kiss in there. You know, did a little hang up, they couldn't get out of there, get away from each other. Flat six deuce eight six deuce eight. See that thing run out? I threw it flat and I had a run out on one of them. That sucked, man. Yeah. yeah, we did not like that one on the run out right there. Might landed about four, three to four inches out on that one. It kind of landed together, then they, you know, slid on in, popped off the bottom, came out, dropped down. Yeah, that's what I like, man. I like that. That's a really highly controlled roll right there, gang. Six. Hope. Oh. We'll say the one got up a little bit on that one on me. One got up on that one a little bit. Looking at that like, oh, I'm saying that's a little bit different. It's not, uh, it's not the droids we're looking for. Moving along. Not the droids we're looking for. Three, one, vote. Point. Point. Those were flying so tight. You see them? Those things were tight on top of each other. Nice little kisser. Uh, today's uh, Saturday morning, gang. Saturday morning. Appreciate you watching Dangerous Arm, not the cartoons. So, hold on. Here we got. So, we're going 15. That's it. That's 14. So, here we go. Here we go, gang. Last one. I hope that light's not... I see it flickering up here. That sucks, man. Anyway, I'll show you how I did this. Oh, now that one. Oh, deuce, six. That would have been out right there, guys. That would have been out because the one uh, popped and hit the wall. So that was a six. We're not going to count that. We're going to re-roll that because you know, it would have been out, you know, uh, if we are at the casino. So we want to keep it legit. Go back, we roll that. There we go. Five, four, nine. Okay, gang, that was 15 strong. 15 strong. That's how we did it. Three points. Looks like we're just a hair lip away from uh, hitting all tall, or hitting the tall, or small, or yeah, the tall, I'm sorry. So that's it, though, man. You know, we wanted to shoot a short little video, nothing long. Just uh, strong, uh, 15 rolls, three points. Uh, got a decent little spread across the numbers. We got uh, four tens, uh, bang those eights. I think we had a triple on the eights back to back to back. So, you know, pretty positive. But let me show you how I threw this roll here, guys. You know, we use a two, four, uh, six, four. We're not going to do that, set that up. We're going to just show you how we did it. We brought our two fingers from the middle like that. Like, dude, cool, dude, cool, dude. You know, whatever. 
You know, we do like that cool dude pose. Bring this pinky down, but we don't put it on the, the front. We bring it back, see? I can see that, that pip, the one pip facing. Now that little area right there, we're going to sit the dice on. See? We're going to rest the dice. See how they're resting? Right on that area. And this finger just stays out there. See how that's resting like that? This is exactly how I do it right here, guys. Now you also can do, you know, where you're like this, where you're, you know, get your arm out. See how it's, you're really stacked like that? You're more of a, uh, almost perfectly stacked up. So you're like that, but this is more of a tilt, see? Like this, or like this. This one, I feel like you're going to have great stability because you're going to have consistency where you put your finger down. You'll always have that platform, a nice one. Now, I don't know if you want to keep this one here. I keep my finger out so I don't have any pressure, any more pressure on the dice. I don't want any more pressure than what I'm giving with these two, the thumb all the way down, and then the back, like that. And when you throw it, release it, up for a rainbow, boom. Release it up for a rainbow, then boom. Okay, we're going to flip this up. Just, I'm going to try to get this so you can see here. I want you to be able to see the arm action. We're not going to set them or anything. We just got them on the hard. And we'll, just so we can see if you can catch this arm action. I hope that showed up on there, man. I wasn't looking. Roll, oh, deuce, six. Okay, so we'll do like this. See, it's like this. I'm going to look at the camera this time, see if we can get it right by looking at it. See how that did that, like that? That's what you want. Three, deuce, five. So, that's how you do it though, gang. That's how we did it. Uh, now, seven out. You know, this one's a nice one. This is a nice one. Check it out. Uh, like I said, this will be the new uh, way of throwing, guys. For those that, you know, have mastered, you know, have become masters with the dice and understand what, you know, how to defeat these tables and beat up on them confidently. 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 You know, because this throw is designed to do that and it shuts the table down, man. Not, not like the Premier Grip, like I said before. And the Premier Grip is designed for a hard table. You know, a uh, you know, couple rotations. You do your, you know, your little pendulum swing throw. Uh, you know, you want to land it flat on the table so all the energy, most of the energy drops into the table. Like 80% of the energy drop into the table. Then the rest of the 20 will come out once they go, hit the wall, and come back. You know, nice and easily, what have you, that kind of thing. From L1, L2, whatever. Uh... But the problem is they went, like I said, they went to the bouncy tables. So the bouncy tables, when you try to throw that throw and you get that perfect throw down, you go to the casinos with that bouncy table. Look here, what's going to happen is, is they know what's going on. You're going to throw that throw. You know, you're going to do the pendulum, throw a throw. It's going to, you know, do the back rotation. It's going to land, but instead of the energy dropping into the table, 80% of the energy dropping into the table, you're going to find that energy sometimes doubling. You know, uh, so the, the, the dice will land and they'll actually rebound up, you know, trampoline up. So the energy doesn't, you know, uh, go into the table like it used to. The energy stays active. The energy stays active and comes right back in the dice. You're transferring the energy from your velocity to throw, you know, the spin, all that, into the table. But it doesn't stop there. It comes back out of the table. You see what I'm saying? It comes back out of the table into the dice. And that's why you'll see when people throw that throw now on bouncy tables, it's always coming off the table. A lot. A lot unless they get it close up, you know, land them close to the uh, the wall and jam it. You know, but if they're trying to throw that pass line, you know, or 10 inches out like Dominator and those guys are saying 9 inches out, whatever, 8 inches out, it's going to be bouncing all off the table and all that shit. So I'm just telling you. A 7 out, one more for you. And this is Saturday, gang. Appreciate your time. This is the other one for 7 out I wanted to show right here. I meant to do the video on this, but this isn't the way I was throwing. See? We go first finger, like that, all the way down, tight. Middle finger comes down like a stand. Third finger comes down, gets on, and gets the dice here. Oh, shit, let me put this down, because uh, it might catch me. All right. There we go. So, this first finger gets it like that. Boom. Now watch, I lift the first finger so you can see this one. Tattoos and shit. 
See, so you can see how, you know, my finger's back like that. And this will just be a kickstand. See, so you're going to be like this. Same throw we just threw. Same throw. Um, eight, two to eight inches out on that one. Two to eight inches out on that one. Two to eight inches out on three. That's where we throw that one. One more for you. So we're not going to throw a bunch on this, you know. We're, you know, we line up, see how we have our finger 